welcome back to Life with Lori. I am making a keto-friendly hot dog chili sauce. Uh, I'm making this up for tomorrow. I'm going to just cook it on slow cook in my Ninja Foodie. Right now, I've got it on saute on high. And what I've done is I've already browned up uh, some ground beef and I've drained it. And now I've got uh, one uh, medium-sized onion and I've diced that up, and then now I've also got one small can of uh, medium green chilies and the juice. Uh, get all that good stuff in there. And what I'm going to add to this is about a pound and a half to two pounds of ground beef. I've used a 70-30 blend. You can use 80-20. Um, I just like a, a fattier... Uh, I, use, I like to use a fattier type of ground beef because I tend, it, it has more flavor to me. You can also uh, do a mixture of meat. You could add like a pound of ground beef and use a, a pound of ground pork to go with it, or you could add some ground venison or ground, um, you could add some chorizo to it and just whatever you like, but I'm just doing ground beef since I'm making it uh, to serve to other people. I don't want to kill them with too much spice. Okay, once you get your onions and your green chilies all kind of sweated a little bit, go ahead and add your ground beef back in the pot. And to this, you are going to add, I'm gonna try to do this one hand, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but we'll see how it goes. All right, I've got a mixture and I'm using a sugar-free ketchup or no sugar added ketchup. I'm using Heinz, but you can use whatever uh, no sugar ketchup uh, that you want to use. And I've got about three quarters of a cup. And then I have added two tablespoons of a stone ground mustard. It's a Creole stone ground mustard. You're just going to dump that in. I'm going to have to get a spice and get that out. Okay, I got that ketchup and mustard out. Now to this, I made a mess, but I'm gonna add an eighth of a cup of Evil Ooze hot sauce. I love this stuff. You can add whatever hot sauce you want, but that's what I like is the Evil Ooze in there. All right, now comes your spice mixture. And what this is, this is my spice mixture. And what it is, is I've got a uh, teaspoon of brown swerve. I like to use brown swerve because it's got more of a molasses um, flavor to it. It's richer, in my opinion. I like it. Then it's got um, about a half teaspoon of Slappy Mama Cajun seasoning in it. Uh, two teaspoons of chipotle powder or chili powder, whatever you want to use. A quarter teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, a pinch of ground nutmeg, and I'm using a three-fourths of a teaspoon, and I'm using the Redmond Smoked Chef's Blend Smoked Salt. Uh, you could use just whatever salt you want. And I got about a half teaspoon of freshly uh, cracked brown, uh, black pepper. And I'm going to add a cup of beef broth to this. Now, I'm just going to stir this up. And I may have to add some more stuff to it because I got a little bit more ground beef than what the original recipe calls for. But... And try this out. It's looking good already. I'll let you know how it turns out. Okay, I also added a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce and added just about uh, two tablespoons of a uh, sugar free barbecue sauce. Um, I used the G. Hughes uh, Hickory. Yeah. 
and this is the finished product, but I'm gonna let it slow cook and get all those flavors to come together. And this is hot dog chili sauce, keto friendly. And you could even put some jalapenos in it if you wanted, but I'll hold back on the jalapenos. But this is good stuff. It's gonna be good on some hot dogs tomorrow. All right, see you on the next one.